Hi, Matt. I'm Convention, and Solo Bay Steve is here. Would you like to say something? Hello. Yes. When you leave school. <laughs> Hello. How was the panel? Um, it was fun. It was I fun. was good, wasn't I? <laughs> you were great. Right. The interruption from the floor was, yeah. it was a lot better than everything else. No, no, it was good. It was good. I was drafted on at the last minute because I did it last year. It's kind of cheating. Um, but there were good people on it, and they said good things, and everyone went home really inspired and decided that they don't want to be pop stars. They want to be social workers who sing. <laughs> I've changed my career path to social worker and as of just now dropped out of my sound engineering course. I'm here to support uh, all convention, I think. I'm here because I like the ideas behind all convention and I like to meet people that I've seen on the World Wide Web but never um, seen in real life. What was your favourite part of the panel? My favourite part was, <laughs> was when you asked a very serious question, about uh, a very profound question about artistic integrity and then um, the panel didn't quite answer it how you wanted and your microphone stopped working and eventually answered the question yourself and apologised by saying, I'm just saying stuff, <laughs> which really sums up the day for me so far, just saying stuff. <laughs> This is all true. Uh, my name's Ed Waring, uh, and uh, I play in Hope and Social. Ah. And uh, <laughs> went to Unconvention last year in Swansea, and it was kind of, it, yeah, it kind of helped to cement changes that were happening in our thinking. Hello, and welcome to Unconvention Day 3 at Salford Lads Club in Salford. Um, it's my second day at Unconvention, and it's been the most interesting one so far for me. This morning there's a panel about politics and music uh, featuring Billy Bragg, Jarvis Cocker, Viv Albertine and various other very interesting people having a discussion. Um, it's just brilliant to see people like that who have achieved so much talking about these issues. And especially for established artists like Jarvis Cocker, who I know actually had quite a hard time getting cult heard by the mainstream. Uh, I think they were when they go for 10 or 12 years before they got big, you know. Um, but it's interesting to see them talking about the new models and things and really embracing them. I just had a really interesting conversation with Viv Albertine, ex of the Slips, um, a minute ago about women in rock. Uh, I didn't get a chance to speak up during the panel session, unfortunately, today. So, but I wanted to say to her that I really appreciate what she's done and the, the things that she continues to do, like being on panels like this. There aren't very many female musicians on these panels, whether it's because they're not invited or because they don't want to be. And I think it's really good when people make the effort to do that. Also, I was telling her about how difficult it still is to be a woman in music today, how it still is a political act, and she was quite shocked by that. But, you know, if you want to do it, you just do it. Today. For us, for the slits, it was about um, getting inside our heads and other people's heads and changing things. So, um, for the first time, we never, ever, any of us ever thought of playing an instrument because um, there were no role models. There was Joni Mitchell, there was Joan Baez, and they were also worthy, and then there was Fanny, and then there was nothing until the moment I saw the Sex Pistols, and I don't know why. I just I looked at them and I thought, not a girl could do it, but actually anyone could do it. And um, went out and bought a guitar with a 200 point my granny left me. Now, I see young bands making medical records and they're dismissed for making political records. But the more important thing I think is to touch on something that Viv said. In the end, you don't have to be right about issues to be political. Just the very fact of Viv getting up now, you know, and the way she's in her life and doing it is a political act. She touched on all those things as a woman. She's, you know, she's underrepresented in society, underrepresented in the music industry, which remains a sexist, racist industry. So the very fact that you don't have to be right about the war or right about the bankers in order to be political. I'm a bad example of that because I do both of those things. And, you know, people think of me as a political song. I'm actually, I'm, I write my love songs. You know, and the, and the songs to me that are the most powerful are songs that are, are, are both. You can come round to mine having some. Cheese, pineapple, and sausages. And then we're going to put the film on and dance around.
convention's finished and that makes me quite sad but I've, I'm uploading content in the car on the way home so I'm putting some photos and video online. Thank you very much everyone for such a brilliant weekend. I think I made some true friends. Met up with some Twitter friends that I hadn't met in real life yet. Met some other random people. Heard some very intelligent conversation. It was great. How's it for you Steve? It was marvellous. I mean I guess Having been to Unconvention before, it was different for me because it was a continuation of a series of, of conversations that have been going on, but it did feel like a continuation, <clears throat> which is great. It didn't feel like it was going on in circles, particularly today. Stuff about social action and uh, social change uh, was really inspiring to hear. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm a huge Billy Bragg fan. Um, he's one of my favourite living Englishmen, and uh, I... To hear him talk about jail guitar doors, to hear him talk about music as a protest tool, as a, as a tool for political change, was really, really inspiring. And uh, I to have a nice chat with him afterwards, you know. He, this, the, one of the nice things about Unconvention is there is no backstage area. There's no place that people who are celebs go and hide. That This morning, Jarvis Cocker and, and Billy Bragg and Don Letts and all the, you know, the, the people who were there, uh, Bill Drummond, we're just having a meal around with everyone else. There just, there just isn't that kind of, you know, uh, red rope to red curtain, velvet rope, whatever it's called, area that, that people can't get to. So you have this access. And that's kind of, that in, in and of itself is a disruptive, you know, protest thing about the way that the rest of the industry is run. And I've offered my services going to prisons and play guitar and stuff, and so maybe that something will come of that. I think that a lot of projects will come out of this actually, a lot of collaboration and discussion and things, it's good.